हेलो स्टूडेंट्स कैसे हो आप लोग माई सेल्फ चेतन गर्ग आई एम मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अवर न्यू सीरीज आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक राइट इन द प्रीवियस टू सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री एंड फोर ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन इन दिस लेसन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ आर एम ओ नाइनटीन राइट Before discussing, let me just tell you some information. Currently here at Vedantu, we are running pre-RMO, RMO, INMO batches. Those who haven't cleared pre-RMO or those who have not appeared yet for pre-RMO, they can simply visit our website Olympia. Vedantu. Com. Here we have provided each and every information how you can enroll in our these pre-RMO batches. And uh, those who have already cleared pre-RMO or RMO last year. they can just simply mail me their name class proof contact number and address to this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com right those who have cleared pre rmo we will simply enroll you in our rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you in our inmo batch one thing these all courses are totally free you do not need to pay even a single rupee to enroll in these batches all you need to do is just mail your name class proof Contact number and address to this email ID, right? So let's start our session today. Okay, today we will be discussing question number five and question number six of year nineteen ninety. Okay, so let's discuss question number fifth of RMO nineteen ninety, right? This is basically a question of geometrical inequality, right? The question says P is any point inside the triangle ABC. The perimeter of the triangle that we already know. Is AB plus BC plus CA, and that is nothing but that is equal to two S, right? S is nothing but semi-perimeter that we already know. Now, what we need to prove? We need to prove two results. That first is AP plus BP plus CP. This is nothing but this is greater than this is greater than how much? This is greater than S, but at the same time this is less than two S, right? So this is what we need to prove. Okay, we need to prove two results, right? The first result is very straightforward. Okay, second result, thoda sa mushkil hai, but ha. That is again, उसके लिए एक और रिजल्ट प्रूव करना पड़ेगा पहले है ना तो लेट्स फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द फिगर लेट से दिस इज द ट्राइंगल एबीसी एंड लेट्स एज्यूम पी इज एनी इन साइड पॉइंट ऑन द ट्राइंगल इन इन साइड द ट्राइंगल राइट नाउ वी इफ वी कंसिडर ट्राइंगल ए बी पी राइट वी विल सिंपली इंप्लाई सम ऑफ एनी टू साइड ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन द थर्ड राइट सो वट वी विल गेट वी विल गेट ए पी Plus BP, है ना? That will be greater than AB, right? Similarly, if in triangle PBC, we will apply the same result. We will get PB plus PC. This is nothing but this is greater than BC. Now, if you apply in triangle APC, in triangle APC, we will apply the same result, right? That sum of any two sides, that is AB plus PC, will be greater than the third side, that is AC. Now, if you add up these three inequalities, right? If you add these three inequalities, what you will get? You will get twice of AP plus BP plus CP. That is greater than what AB plus BC plus CA, which was in fact equal to how much? Which was equals to twice of the semi-perimeter that is two S, right? So this has uh, this two will cancel out with this two, right? What we will get? We will get AP plus BP plus CP. This is nothing but this is greater than S, right? So this was the first result that we need to prove. ठीक है जो basically बड़ा simple था हमने triangular inequality से that is sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third. उससे हमने prove कर दिया. राइट थर्ड पार्ट जो है सेकंड पार्ट जो है इसका ए पी प्लस बीपी प्लस सीपी दैट इज लेस देन टू एस उसको देखते हैं उसके लिए पहले हम एक और रिजल्ट प्रूव करेंगे ठीक है लेट्स से एबीसी इज एनी ट्राइंगल है ना एंड लेट्स एज्यूम पी इज एनी इनसाइड पॉइंट ऑफ द ट्राइंगल तो इफ यू ज्वाइन पी विद एनी टू वर्टिस देन देर इज सिंपली सिंपल देर इज अ रिजल्ट ए बी प्लस ए सी दैट इज सम ऑफ दीज टू साइड दैट विल बी ग्रेटर देन द सम ऑफ दीज टू साइड That is PB plus PC. This is the result that we will prove first, and we will use this result to prove the our second part. That is this, right? देखो दिखने में तो ये चीज बड़ी obvious लग रही है कि हाँ यार P तो inside point है है ना तो AB plus AC that will be greater than PB plus PC. But again to get full marks in RMO, we need to prove this the same thing. Right? Let's prove this thing, this part, है ना? We will extend BP 
टू ए सी लेट्स डू अ लिटिल कंस्ट्रक्शन है ना ए बी सी वॉज ट्राइंगल एंड लेट से पी इज इन साइड पॉइंट वी हैव एक्सटेंडेड बी पी टू मीट ए सी एट अ पॉइंट डी राइट नाउ फिर से वी विल एम्प्लाई वी विल सिंपली अप्लाई ट्राइंगुलर इन इक्वेलिटी इन ट्राइंगल ए बी डी वी कैन से सम ऑफ एनी टू साइड दैट इज ए बी प्लस ए डी दैट विल बी ग्रेटर देन बी डी एंड इनफैक्ट बी डी इज नथिंग बट बी डी इज इक्व टू हाउ मच बी पी प्लस पी डी ठीक है सो इन ऑल आई एम री राइटिंग दिस इन इक्वेलिटी ए बी प्लस ए डी ये हमने फाइंड आउट कर लिया दिस इज नथिंग बट दिस इज ग्रेटर देन बी पी प्लस पी डी राइट नाउ इफ यू कंसिडर द स्मॉल ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगल पी डी सी वट यू यू कैन से यू कैन से दिस पी डी प्लस डी सी दैट इज सम ऑफ एनी टू साइड दैट विल बी ग्रेटर देन दिस पी सी राइट नाउ इफ यू एड दिस टू इन इक्वेलिटीज इन इक्वेलिटी फर्स्ट एंड टू वट यू विल गेट यू विल गेट ए बी प्लस ए डी प्लस डी सी प्लस पी डी दैट विल बी ग्रेटर देन वट बी पी दिस पार्ट है ना बी पी प्लस पी डी एंड प्लस दिस प्लस पी सी If you clearly see this PD got cancelled out with this PD, and this AD plus DC, this is nothing but this is AC. So the final result is AB plus AC that is greater than PB plus PC. This is what we will use to prove our second part of the inequality, second part of the question. Right? Again, I am reiterating. If P is any inside point, then some of these two sides. That is AB plus AC. That will be greater than PB plus PC, right? Now let's see how we will uh, how we can use this result to prove our second part. That is AP plus BP plus CP. That will be less than 2s, right? Let's proceed. Now let's see. Let's consider this ABC as a triangle, है ना? And P is an inside point. अभी हमने दो मिनट पहले प्रूव किया था कि AB plus AC that will be greater than how much PB plus PC, है ना? By considering PBC triangle. Now similarly, in the same logic, if you consider PAC triangle, what we will get? AB plus BC that will be greater than this PA plus PC, right? So we will get AB plus AC that will be greater than how much? PA plus PC. Now in the same logic, if you consider for triangle PBA, you will get AC plus BC that will be greater than PB plus PA, right? So again, I'm writing the same thing. AC plus uh, how much BC? That will be greater than PA plus PB. Same logic, right? Now, if you add up these three inequalities, what you will get? If we simply add these three inequalities, we will get twice of AB plus BC plus CA. That is nothing but greater than twice of AP plus CP plus BP, right? This two will get cancelled out with this two, and this is nothing but this is two s, right? So we can write A P plus C P plus B P. This is less than, है ना? Less than this A B plus B C plus C, which is nothing but which is two s. So that was our second result. ठीक है? जो second part था जो इस question था, right? We need to prove that this is less than two s. राइट सो दोनों पार्ट्स हमने प्रूव कर दी फर्स्ट पार्ट वाज वेरी इजी जिसमें हमने बेसिकली सिंपली एक ट्रायंगुलर इनइक्वालिटी का यूज किया था सेकंड पार्ट में भी हमने ट्रायंगुलर इनइक्वालिटी का ही यूज किया दैट इज सम ऑफ एनी टू साइड्स इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन द थर्ड साइड बट उसके लिए हमने एक पहले एक रिजल्ट प्रूव किया था ठीक है तो दिस इज सिंपल क्वेश्चन ऑफ ज्योमेट्रिकल इनइक्वालिटीज ठीक है काफी सारे बच्चों ने क्वेश्चन ठीक किया था 1990 में राइट सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 ओके सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 ऑफ आरएमओ 1990 The question says that if n is a 50 digit number and uh, all the digits except the 26th digit from the left are 1 if n is divisible by 13 then find the 26th digit right so this question is uh, basically involves the divisibility rule by 13 basically there are three or four divisibility rules of 13 in which one particular rule is important for this question right first uh, first of all we will understand uh, what this question is asking about right it is saying accept 26 digit all the digits are one right so let's assume 26 digit is a from the left right this is our 26 digit and all other digits are one how many total digits are there 50 
so first 25 digits these are one right 25 digits and the last 24 digits these are also one okay this is basically the question is saying and now if this complete number this 50 digit number is divisible by 13 then we need to find the value of this 26 digit what will be the 26 digit right this is the question ticket before solving first we will understand what is the divisibility rule of 13 right so the divisibility rule of 13 says we need to form the alternating sums of blocks of 3 from right to left right and if the result is divisible by 13 then we can say the number is divisible by 13 okay what does this mean i'll explain you with an example let's say uh, let us take any number 1 4 7 8 9 5 3 2 we have taken a random number okay we need to form block of 3 from right to left matlab hum 3 3 ke blocks banate hain okay from right to left to last block will be of only two number right this block is of two numbers and form the alternating sums alternating sums matlab first block will be counted as positive that is 5 3 2 plus and second block will be negative minus 7 8 9 third block is positive but obviously this is of two numbers then that's okay no problem 14 right we will calculate this now if this number is divisible by 13 then we can say the whole number is divisible by 13 let's take one simple example let's assume 13 zero zero one three this number is clearly divisible by 13 right so let's see what does this alternating block means this is one block this is second block this is our third block right so first block is zero one three positive second block is zero 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 which is negative okay third block is again 13 which is positive so the value comes out to be 26 right now since this 26 is divisible by 13 that means this whole number will be divisible by 13 right so this is the meaning of this uh, divisibility rule right now let's proceed to our question okay again there are how many numbers there are 15 number let's assume the 26 digit to be a and all the previous digits are one right these are how many digits these are 25 digits and rest are also one how many remaining digits are these these are basically 24 digits right now if you start making blocks of three and if you alternate them right these 24 digits how many uh, three three blocks will they form eight blocks right four are of positive sign and four are of negative sign and the sum will be zero right so the next uh, potential block is this a11 yani 11a this will be of positive sign because we have there here four positive and four negative the last one will end up with negative so after that it will start with the positive 11a after that what will it be what will be the next block 111 again with the negative sign again with 111 positive sign and so on right see uh, 18 digits that is uh, six blocks six blocks three positive three negative right last one will end up with plus one one six blocks i am asking uh, i am saying six blocks that is 18 digits are these 18 digits we have consumed in this three digits are this 18 and 3 21 digits total how many are left five digits so one first block will start with minus one one after that uh, now we are left with only two digits so the last block is a plus 11 right so what does this sum say this is effectively this is zero right this 24 digits will contribute zero right what is the final sum 11 a this minus 11 and this plus 11 so we are left with what 11 a minus 100 right minus 100 what is the final result 11 uh, a minus 100 that is 1 a now this thing should be divisible by 13 now clearly you can say uh, you can see that a must be 3 for this 1a to, to be divisible by 13 a should be equals to 3 only right so what will be the 26 digit 26 digit is 3 right 
तो आई होप ये क्वेश्चन अभी आपको समझ में आया होगा देखो इस क्वेश्चन में कुछ नहीं था आपको थर्टीन का डिविजिबिलिटी रूल पता होना चाहिए था अगर आप थर्टीन का डिविजिबिलिटी रूल जानते हो तो देन दिस क्वेश्चन इज डन एल्स ऑब्वियसली हम ये क्वेश्चन नहीं कर पाएंगे ठीक है एंड द डिविजिबिलिटी रूल ऑफ थर्टीन इज वट फॉर्म ब्लॉक्स ऑफ थर्टीन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम राइट टू लेफ्ट राइट एंड ऑल्टरनेटिंग ब्लॉक्स राइट दैट इज फर्स्ट ब्लॉक फ्रॉम राइट इज पॉजिटिव देन नेगेटिव देन पॉजिटिव एंड एंड सो ऑन राइट एड दैम अप इफ द रिजल्टेंट नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाई थर्टीन देन वी कैन से द नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाई थर्टीन राइट ओके सो दैट्स इट फ्रॉम माई साइड टूडे वी हैव लर्न क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी so by this i'll be ending my session and before ending just i'll uh, give you one more information that i have provided at the start of the session also right currently here at vedantu we have uh, started pre rmo rmo and inmo batches right those uh, who have not appeared yet for pre rmo or unfortunately have not cleared pre rmo exam in the last year they can simply visit our website olympia.vedantu.com here we have provided each and every information that how you can enroll in these batches and those who have cleared rmo or pre rmo last year they can simply mail me their name their class their proof of clearing this exam their contact number and their address to this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com right we will simply enroll you those who have cleared pre rmo we will simply enroll you in rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you in inmo batches and the most important part is the all these courses are totally free we will not be we will not be charging even a single rupee from you uh, to enroll in these courses right so that's it from my side guys bye bye see you in the next session in the next session we will be discussing question number 7 and 8 of year 1990 bye bye